Hey guys, so I just wanted to bring you a really quick tutorial on how to offset text font in Inkscape. Um, you may want to offset font either just because it looks cool or you may want to do it if you have like a really thin font, like one that has thin lines. Um, sometimes having a shadow behind it makes it pop more. So I'm going to show you guys that scenario. So I'm using the watermelon script font from defont.com and I'm just gonna type my name and I will get closer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, sorry. Click the magnifying glass to get closer. Okay, now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and make a second layer and I'm gonna name that second layer main font okay and the current layer where my font actually is I'm going to rename that layer to shadow okay so now I'm going to take that text and I'm going to right click and duplicate and I'm going to make the duplicate font pink and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to move to layer and I'm going to move it to the main font layer and you know that it's there I'll show you that there are you know two different fonts there if you click on main font and then click on the little that's an I there you'll see that it is indeed on top of the shed what's going to be our shadow so now we want to work with the shadow layer and I'm going to get a little closer okay the next thing that we're going to do click on the text and then go to path linked offset okay so that will create a little note on your font and then you just select that and just bring it up a little bit oh that's too much so you just kind of have to play around with it what you want it to look like so i'm pretty happy with how this looks so what i'm going to do to change this i'm not i'm not sure why inkscape does this but Let's click on, let's hide our shadow and let's click on our main font and we want to go to path, object to path and then that solves that issue. And now this is perfect and ready to save as an SVG file and you can upload it to Cricut.